Tonight, a scramble at the International Space Station after a Russian weapons test launched a dangerous debris field. Yeah, well, that launch is now threatening seven astronauts, including four Americans at the ISS. Brandon Simmons has a story. Space may be infinite, but today a debris field threatens the space station. We were recently informed of a satellite breakup and uh, need to have you guys uh, start reviewing the safe haven procedure. That call from ground control to the space station coming after Russia fired a missile at one of its own satellites, destroying it, launching hundreds of thousands of pieces of dangerous debris into orbit and triggering a full-throated condemnation from the U.S. government. It was dangerous, it was reckless, it was irresponsible. The space station circles the Earth every 90 minutes, moving at more than 17,000 miles per hour. If it collides with even the smallest piece of debris, it would have the impact of almost 10 times the force of a bullet. NASA says the seven astronauts on board retreated to their docked capsules Monday in case an emergency escape was needed. But later, all on board resumed normal operations. Those seven astronauts include four Americans, one German, and two Russian cosmonauts. NASA astronaut Mark Vandehey calmly signing off to Mission Control in Houston. Thanks for a, uh, a crazy but uh, well-coordinated day. It was certainly a great way to bond as a crew starting off our very first work day in space. The three other Americans, Raja Kari, Kayla Barron, and Tom Marshburn, and German astronaut Matthias Maurer, arrived just last week on SpaceX's Crew-3 flight. The State Department warning the U.S. will work with allies to respond to Russia's action. U.S. Space Command is now tracking the debris and says it could remain in orbit for years, possibly decades. Uh, what the Russians did today with these 1,500 pieces of track trackable orbital debris uh, poses a risk not only to those astronauts, not only to those cosmonauts, uh, but to satellites, to the interests of all nations. I'm Brandon Simmons, 3 News.